Off on another adventure, are we? Some days are more difficult than others. Nasi, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself reliving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Revelio. You made it. At least we're out of the classroom. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious... I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumour was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumour, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Revelio. Aki. 
Kiyoko. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Confringo! Rebellion! Lumos. Lumos. The Pulsar. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You made it. I take... Well... I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Revelio. 
You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio! Revelio. It's another aggressive one. Crucio. Defender. Confronter. Glacius. Confronter. What is going on with them? Lumos. Confringo. Tabolso. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Capulso. Revelio. Revelio. Foibus. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Revelio. If the Moonstone is here at the I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio. Revelio. Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipas and now this. Akio. We need to find moths for those spinners. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Perhaps 
the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio, Accio. Another obstacle. No, Revelio. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. Confringo. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Lumos Revelio Accio Lumos Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. 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 Did it? Revelio. Revelio. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind.
Revelio. It's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Confringo! Given what Fuipa's are I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. Confringo! Very funny. I was just thinking how it's Rebellion. Rebellion. The poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. We found it! It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. I think I'd like to look around a bit first. I suppose we could spare a moment. Very well. We should leave soon. Rebellion! The longer we stay, the more I want a fwooper. Revelio. From the outside, you'd never guess this place even... I have a feeling that was the idea. Are you finished exploring? I believe I am. Good. If we leave for the Henge now, we should make it by nightfall. We still have the poachers to contend with. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps uh. gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. Revelio. So. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. 
I'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on High Wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one, a sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can Revelio. make a drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs>